Hi there. So if you could just introduce yourself to the audience, um, your name and how long you've been an actor for. My name is Armin Kananya. I'm an actor from Sweden. I've been an actor for six years now. Wow. And um, is this something that you kind of was hoping to get into this kind of role and this intensity of a film? Oh yeah, definitely. This is, was a dream, dream project and a dream part for me. And to those who haven't had the pleasure of seeing the film yet, how would you describe your character and how he fits into the story? Right, so he's uh, the captain of a, a spaceship which soon becomes the world. So he, uh, with that weight on his shoulder, he becomes a god and, and uh, has to make uh, some tough decisions. And uh, do you remember any particularly challenging scenes and also any particularly fun scenes that you shot? Um, some particularly but fun scene, a really fun scene was doing the speeches. I have two speeches that were really fun. And because they get to be very provocative to the, my co-actors and actresses, which was fun to provoke them and like, uh, play with them, with them kind of thing. And a challenging one was actually where I had to do this physical thing, the handstand thing, where I had, and I had to do, like, do a line in that, which was kind of technically... So you didn't have a stuntman for that? So you no, no, that. I did that. You did that yourself, thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Which was, yeah, trained a lot for us. Awesome. Like, the day comes and you have to actually perform and do it, which was challenging and fun. And was the training fun as well? Did you yeah, learn it was really things? fun. Yeah, and I got to do some military training for this part as well, which was a lot of fun, because we decided that he has a military background, which is a lot of fun to go through. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Um, and so with the film, I got the vibes of like a classic uh, sci-fi, like Babylon 5 and mm -hmm. um, the Star Treks, but with a lot of the, um, the action taking place on Space Station, um, were the shows like that something you were encouraged to watch before you got into the role? No, not really. Um, they encouraged me to do whatever, like when we created the character together and stuff, they encouraged me to do whatever felt right for me because we, we were kind of synced in what, who the character was. And I felt that other sci-fi films or shows or whatever, um, uh, I felt that this film was more everyday, like now, every, uh, like a current everyday situation as if, but, but um, as if Aniora is just a cruise ship of today and like a big, big ass mall that we all live in. Um, so I didn't feel like we, I, I had to be inspired by something that plays in the future, mm. more so current. The present? Yeah, the present, yes. Okay, cool. And um, did you see any of the, um, the Swedish um, audience's reaction to the film and um, mm. how, how did that affect you? Yeah, I saw some really fun reactions and like really nice reactions. Everything from like being super depressed to like to laughing where I like I have this one scene where I feel like that I get to be a part of the comic relief, which was really fun to hear people laugh and see people laugh in that scene. And then a really fun reaction that I've been hearing a lot about is people not leaving the cinema after the film is done. People just sit there in the dark and the quiet and just stare into the screen when it's done, which a lot of my friends have said I've never seen that before and like people have been like uh, photographing the like still, like still people just staring into the screen, which is like fun they didn't want to leave, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, and yeah. enchanted by it. Yeah. Um, but with with the audience reactions here, would what do you hope that they take away from this movie? Oh, good question. Anything they'd like to take away. Anything they take away, I'm happy that they do. Yeah, just some something that moves them. Or yeah, inspires. yeah, anything. Even even if it if they hate it, but it. Affected them in some way. Affected them somehow, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, I'm just happy that they come and watch it. I mean, whatever. Yeah, well, I'm sure they'll enjoy it. I hope so. And uh, it's out in cinemas later this month. Yeah. Um, but what projects are you working on that you're allowed to talk about? Um, that I'm allowed to talk about. I'm working on this one TV show. I can't say the name, so I, but it's a TV show that's like a, a horror TV show kind of thing. Um, and I'm working on a feature film which, which takes place in this, uh, in this um, super flamboyant gay world. Oh wow, um, In this Different. institution that's like super, the opposite of Aniara, which is going to be fun as well. Yeah, no, <laughs> I bet. Super happy and light and, and crazy. 
And have you done um, horror before? Um, it's been used uh, about. Um, yeah, I've done a little bit of horror. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Really fun as well. That feels light, also, although it's horror. It's still not as intense. Tough yeah. and intense emotionally to watch. Well, it's great. It sounds like you're up to many different things, and uh, you know, uh, challenging yourself, and you know, putting yourself in different roles. So, wish you all the best with that. And uh, very nice to meet you. And you uh, thank you for the interview. Thank you. So much. Välkommen ombord på Anjara. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.